Hi there, I'm Paul from Norway, and today we're going to make Norwegian classic lutefisk. Lutefisk is a traditional Norwegian fish, typically a dried codfish that has been re-soaked in water and cured in lye. In Norway, we eat lutefisk mostly before and during Christmas. You can find it in any supermarket, but it comes in different qualities at different prices. Today, I'll prepare it baked in the oven, like many Norwegians do, and I'm gonna serve it with some of the most common sides, which, to be honest, are as important as the fish itself. This is a beautiful piece of lutefisk, uh, the texture, it's a bit firm. It's uh, the loin of a codfish. It smells like fish, for sure. This is gonna be a delicious piece of lutefisk. So I start by cutting the lutefisk into pieces. You don't want the pieces to be too big, just the perfect size. So I cut up the lutefisk, I put a grill over a bowl here, and I place the pieces of lutefisk with the skin side down onto the grill. Now the key to getting a good texture on the lutefisk is to add the right amount of salt. So for one kilo of lutefisk, I add about a tablespoon of salt, maybe a little bit more. This will draw the liquid out of the lutefisk and it will run off into the bowl. So the side dishes that are served with the lutefisk are extremely important to Norwegians. And there's especially one side dish which you will always find, and that is bacon and bacon fat, which you're going to pour over the lutefisk. In Norway, you can get diced bacon in the supermarket during Christmas, made exactly for this purpose. Try not cook it on too high heat. You want the fat to really come out of the bacon. If there's not enough fat, you can also add some butter. and always some mushy peas. Add it to a pot, add a little bit of vegetable stock, a dab of butter, some salt, some pepper, and some water. Mushy peas is actually really good. Mm. The last thing you need to cook is boiled potatoes. I like to peel them because I think they look nicer on the plate then. Another nice addition to the lutefisk meal is some grated brown cheese, which is an iconic Norwegian cheese. Mmm. Brown cheese. Also, some strong mustard pairs well with the lutefisk. And the last one is some lefse, which is a very traditional Norwegian Christmas food. And this is a potato-based tortilla. I'll take a couple of these lefse. I cut them into half, and then I roll them up. And put them on a nice plate. All right, so the lutefisk has now been standing for two hours in the fridge and a lot of water has run off it. And lutefisk got a bit of a bad reputation. And the reason for that is often that the texture is not quite right. To get a nice texture is very important to add the right amount of salt and also cook it in a good way. And um, if you do that, then you will get a good lutefisk experience. Next step now is to take the pieces of lutefisk and rinse them under some water to get the salt off. Then I'm gonna take the lutefisk and transfer them to a bit of a deeper pan. I'm gonna have a little bit of salt and pepper over them. And then I'm gonna cover that pan with tin foil. The trick now is that the tin foil does not touch the fish because it will discolor the lutefisk. All right, I'm gonna put it in the oven now for about 35 minutes on 225 Celsius. So the lutefisk is in the oven for 40 minutes, just enough time to make and enjoy some Norwegian waffles. Norwegian waffle with brown cheese, sour cream, and strawberry jam. If you wanna make your own waffle, check out the link at the end of this episode. Yeah, fish looks perfect. Perfect. So I'm going to start putting the fish and all the sides on the plate. I recommend having a bit of a hot plate because the, the fish is going to cool down very quickly. 
Start with a piece of lutefisk. Two pieces, actually. Typically, when you eat lutefisk in a restaurant in Norway or at someone's home, you will always get two servings. So don't worry if you don't get enough fish on the first serving. Then some potatoes. Some mushy peas. Some mustard. Some brown cheese, grated. A piece of lefse. And then the highlight, and a very important one, is the bacon with the bacon fat, which uh, typically I just sprinkle with the fat and everything over the fish. The more the merrier. And then a little bit of the fat over the potatoes. And that's it. It's ready to eat. All right, the meal is ready and it turned out just the way that I was hoping for. I'm so excited to take a bite here. I also got some Aquavit, some Norwegian liquor. I have a, a strong Christmas ale, which goes well with this uh, plate. Thanks a lot for watching the episode. A special thanks to all my patrons for your support. And um, I'll see you again soon. Let's go. Cool.